Hello, hello, D4DJ episode three. We're doing a reaction to that episode today, and I am looking forward to it as always. Big D4DJ fan. Um, I'm still wearing my The Last of Us t shirt because I also recorded my The Last of Us episode two. Uh, reaction today, which is another show that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, if you like Last of Us at all, go check out that reaction because uh, I have a lot to say about The Last of Us. But we're here for D4DJ, so we're going to watch D4DJ. Um, last week we didn't get a performance, which uh, is, you know, kind of sad. But, uh, but they did actually say that in the episode, uh, which I think I only realized in the discussion that they, that they were like... Uh, yeah, we're not gonna do music this month. We're gonna <laughs> instead do the video But I think that means that every other episode is going to because I don't think every Episode they're gonna be like, oh, no, let's also not do uh, a song this month. You know, let's just, let's not do that So I, I imagine uh, That we're going to be getting a performance in today's video who from I don't know I have to make a prediction uh, I think I said Photon Maiden last time, so I'm going to stick with that. I think it's going to be a Photon Maiden performance. So, uh, let's just jump into this episode. If you want to see the full-length version of my reaction, you can go to my Patreon account in the description below. Go check it out there. Um, and uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you want more. Like the video, comment down below. All that stuff helps me out. I love reading the comments, so make sure to comment if you have anything fun or interesting to say. Even if you don't have something fun or interesting to say, you can just comment awesome video something like that you know um, but anyway thanks and uh, let's get into episode 3 of D4 DJ here we go <laughs> okay yeah there we go now you're getting some hype <laughs> mm -hmm. I saw a kawaii in there Freedom, freedom? Why is there a question mark there? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I feel like Miu would be the type of person who would always wear like a really, really nice perfume, a floral perfume. Uh-huh. No, people love it. <laughs> oh, they want you to keep doing it? Oh. That's okay. You guys will live up to the expectations. That's fine. <laughs> Everyone applauding that? That's great. Is that a... That's her? Wow. She looks very different when not in her uniform. And with her hair down, I guess. Wow. So, Lyrical Lily? Okay. I thought they'd be saving Lyrical Lily for a while. But no, okay. Episode 3? Heck yeah. あ、<笑><笑><笑> ツバメの観察をしていた生物部の皆さんにお願いされて退職する生物部顧問の先生のサプライズでみんなが自然と集まってアレンジしてです。Is there are some months that just suck, though. 
Like, you got good ones for, like, you know, December and October and all that, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> oh, that's all they needed to hear. <laughs> okay, I don't know how much most of them are going to be able to give you. And you're probably going to have to be naked for the conversation. Yep, <laughs> not naked, they're in big things, big gowns. <laughs> this is a terrible place for a conversation. Also, when you breathe, like, the heat goes into your lungs. Oh my god, they're going to die. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, they should not be in here. Wow, look at that! 2D animation though, that was great. Oh, that seems satisfying. <laughs> Popsicles over flowers. <laughs> Doll festival? Of course, this is all this is all like very Japanese. So I can't participate at all in these. In these thoughts. I like that a lot of like the composing and stuff in this show, they do actually just show them on their computers just clicking. Which is what composing for this sort of music is about, you know? You're just on your computer sitting there quietly in the dark clicking <laughs> and then there's a like, song. Peaky Peaky! You know that you're gonna go to every band, so you might as well just go to all of them. Oh my god, you guys don't have to join in every time a band is doing something. You don't have to work out. Turn down the speed on your treadmills, girls. Alright, go on a rondo. The genre changes when it becomes a rondo scene. Look at this. The music styling and... It's all so different. Oh my god. I mean, honestly, it isn't actually that bad. If that was this is for real life, I'd be like, wow, that's good. <laughs> That's that was a cute moment. I like seeing someone like Subaki be a little more vulnerable. Wow, that is actually very cute. How is everyone but Nagisa good at it? <laughs> Whoa! Looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. Okay, I don't like any of this food that they're showing, but it looks good for whoever likes it. What I'm saying is it looks delicious, but I know that I wouldn't like it. Not an alcoholic, this is a scam. They playing Twister? <laughs> oh my gosh. If there's anyone who can hold that up, it's Yuka. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Was there not a better blue for you to put your left hand on? <laughs> Awesome. You better, because we're coming to the end of the episode, so you're going to need a song ready. 
Here we go. Ooh. Very cute traditional dance by the looks of it. And traditional sounding song so far. Ooh. Yeah, now it feels like a lyrical Lily song. <laughs> Aww. These are cute dance moves. Oh, it's got all the dolls in the background as well. Oh, I really like this. I really like the choreography of this song. Oh, that's so cute. That's a very cute song. I like it. I was getting inspired. Yeah, she's getting inspired by Lyrical Lily. Very nice. So I guess Rondo might be next then. I will always enjoy the CD. I am I, I just love the performances in this show there's it's I think the choreography of this show it's it's so satisfying and I never know like how much I'm being biased when I look at it like it's just like oh I know I love the series so like just me liking the series means I'm gonna like the performances just because it's like oh these are the characters that I like but like there's something so satisfying about it it was very it wasn't like crazy choreography in this episode in terms of like uh the complexity of it it was very simple but there's something about it that like it just looked really nice it it fit perfectly with the music um they didn't overdo anything you know it was a it was a pretty like low-key song um but it looked looked great uh everything seems really polished and nice and the d4 dj has a way of like animating their dancing and their song performances in such a sort of very natural way where it looks like the characters are having a lot of fun um and it looks uh and it sort of looks like really polished and professional while also being like it also feels like oh these are these are people actually doing the moves because it's it's not it doesn't feel like they just you know, choreographed a thing and drew, made the animation and then copied and pasted that like movement data or whatever to all the models. Like you can, if you watch like YouTube videos of like, uh, you know, dance videos or whatever that people do with, I don't know, MMD or whatever, you know, um, those dance videos, like, you know, they can, they can look great and stuff, but they, you can tell generally when they just like made a dance and then copied and pasted like 10 different dances doing the dance and it's like yeah that's that's a smart way to do it because they're supposed to be in sync anyway so why wouldn't you just copy and paste the work you did but i feel like with d4dj they like they probably do copy and paste it but then they like make adjustments for each character to make them like very slightly different i think the best example of it is like in um in uh the first season uh, there's two good examples actually the first one I think is when uh, Peaky Peaky get Rinku up on the stage to do let's do the Big Bang. Um, I feel like uh, Rinku is uh, Has a very different style to Peaky Peaky so Peaky Peaky are kind of in sync with each other But Rinku is like doing her own little like bounciness to it I think I remember you know like I, I remember there being a little bit of a difference It felt like they had a little bit of a difference in their in their movements and stuff um, and obviously the expressions help with that a lot as well. And the other one is that um, at the very end of season one, when they did the final performance and it was like Photon Maiden did their song, the Peaky Peaky did their song, then Happy Around did their song, and then everyone joined Happy Around for their song. When everyone joined Happy Around, all the characters, like the, the Happy Around squad were doing their own choreography perfectly. Everyone else was kind of doing it, except someone pointed out that I think it's Toa from uh, Photon Maiden that uh, was also doing the Happy Around choreography properly because I think she's like, you know, a big fan of theirs, you know, like, and it's just like a really good detail. 
And it's just stuff like that that makes me really like this series. So I, I, I love the choreography in this episode. I like, you know, the, them talking about writing a song and stuff. I mean, we're seeing, you know, there's a, there's a formula to this season right now. And I do hope they kind of break out of the formula, but I don't expect them to. But I do hope they... Because the formula right now is, like, they have a minor thing that they want to do. Um, and we see all of the bands. Like, it'll go around to all of the bands one at a time. I'm okay with them uh, not doing that. You know, like, I feel like in Bang Dream, they, uh, you know, they'll try to get the bands in where they're relevant. But that's kind of what they do. And, you know, a big a th a thing that helps that a lot is uh, they don't have the bands always together. They just have the characters out in the world. And so, like, oh, you'll come, you'll go here and you'll come across Lisa from Roselia, and then you'll go over here and you'll come across, um, uh, you know, Aya from uh, Pastel Palace, and then you go over here and you'll come across uh, Kasumi from, from Poppin' Party. And it's like, you know, you're not coming across, oh, like, oh, Afterglow's over here. Let's go over to Afterglow. No, you're going and you're just seeing certain people, you know? You're just seeing Mocha and Ran hanging out together um, over there. But they're also hanging out with uh, this other, you know, someone else. So, um, so yeah, I, I just think that would probably be a way to do it that would feel a little less formulaic than what they're doing now. I'm still really liking it and having a good time. Um, and it's like a slice of life idol show, so it doesn't like really matter what they, what they do with it as long as they uh, have cute things happening that make me chuckle and go on and then the episode ends with a performance Hey, what more can I ask for really? Um, but I like seeing them doing the writing of the songs and then as I said I like that writing songs is like clicking at your computer, you know, I feel like other shows um, A lot of it's like oh you're out in the world and then you go oh, I got it and then you like start like you know quickly writing sheet music onto your thing or picking up your guitar and and playing it um on your guitar and then it just cuts to when you're playing it in the performance or whatever but like no them they're composing the song like late at night on their computer like a lot of composers i imagine do you know <laughs> it's it's not glamorous the way it looks it's what's glamorous is what comes out of it but, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this episode of D4DJ with me. This was episode three. I really enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Like the video, comment down below. Um, and if you want to watch full length, early access and exclusive videos, you can go to my Patreon account in the description below. And I've got that all over there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.